What's up, Creed? Welcome to your recovery and mobility flow. We got two movements for you. We want to touch on the T-spine area, so that mid-back that some of us struggle with posture, trying to bring that back up and down. All right, so we're gonna try and do some rotation to increase the extension here. And then we're also gonna do internal rotation with that shoulder driving into an overhead position. So if you have any prior shoulder injuries that may feel a little tweaky, try and go through this, get those shoulders warm before you go through this. It'll be a great motion to perfect and get down so that we can avoid shoulder injuries in the future. So, First, we're going to have a wall assisted T spine rotation. So, Mandy will set up here. Her inside foot, the foot that's closest to the wall, is going to come back. All right? Her front foot, the outside foot, furthest away from the wall, will come forwards. She'll be in a split stance. A split stance. All right? From there, she's going to bring both arms forward. The shoulders will be touching the wall. The arm that's away from the shoulder is going to open up like she's kind of trying to pull apart a string. And she's going to open up as wide as she can. So, Mandy has a great T spine rotation here. She's almost able to get both shoulders to the wall, that's the goal. When you get to this position, try and spread your arms apart, squeeze your back together, and hold for three full seconds, keeping that tension on the back side. No matter how far across you get, imagine you're already at the wall and you're trying to drive into the wall. Whether you are here, here, or here, we're still trying to keep tension. For three seconds, every rep, you'll do eight to 10 reps on both sides with three second holds, all right? After that, hopefully that back feels a little more open, maybe we can Breathe a little better for that tension release. All right, so it's the opposite side, inside foot's back, outside foot's forward, and she rotates and opens that chest to the room. All right, keeping those hips pretty stable. All right, from there, we're gonna go into our wall, restricted internal rotation to overhead. So she's gonna come as close to the wall as she can here, and I'll get a different angle in just a second. We're gonna talk through it first. But her toes are all the way to the wall, her chest is to the wall, her head and nose is to the wall. So it's a very, very close wall in front of her. From here, going to have an internally rotated arm, so palms facing behind her. She's going to bring her shoulders back and down and rise with those elbows first. She'll internally rotate and then bring those palms to the wall and drive up and overhead. She's coming back down nice and slow, internally rotating, trying to bring her shoulders back and away from the wall, not letting those hands touch the wall as best as she can going through this motion. We'd have three sets of eight reps on our regiment for here. So I'll show a little bit side angle here. So Mandy's nice and close to the wall. Notice how her feet are touching the wall. Her torso is close. Her head is very close. She's going to start at the bottom here. Palms are facing back. Shoulders are back and down. She's trying to rotate those hands away from the wall. Rise all the way over her head. And as she comes down, she's trying to dodge that wall with her hands as best she can. And then pushes them back down to her pockets. All right. So those are our two moves for you guys today. We will see you next time.